Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be testing out a couple of products from a brand new line at Target. This is a line that has recently come out and I've been wanting to try some of their items but I just haven't gotten around to it. So this is the Makeup Obsessions brand. They have a ton of different stuff. They have concealers, highlighters, eyeshadow palettes, face palettes, primers, brow pomades. They have so much. They don't have a foundation or else I would have gotten that and done like a wear test on it. But I picked up three products products that really caught my eye out of all of the different items. I do remember seeing a video where Casey Holmes used some of these products and she said the concealer was not good. So I just like knowing that I didn't even want to buy it because I'd rather try stuff that could be good. But yeah, so if you guys like seeing me test out new products, new releases on my channel, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know. And don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Let's go ahead, hop into the video. I'm excited to test some of these products out and see if they're any good or not. So yeah, let's hop in. Just last night, I was thinking that I was going to be sick when I woke up this morning. I had those like achy, you know, like sinusy feeling feelings. And I thought I was gonna be sick this morning, but I drank a lot of echinacea tea. Let's see, I drank a orange juice, I drank emergency, I like all of it. And I woke up this morning feeling pretty groggy and like slow, but I didn't feel sick. So that's like awesome. First product that I got to test out is a primer. Now they had a couple different primers that I was interested in. I wanted to get the mattifying primer, but all it had in it really was like dimethicone and silica. And I know that if I apply a primer that just has dimethicone or silica or just like those types of ingredients, I tend to break out after using them multiple days in a row. So I didn't want to get something that, you know, just had those kinds of ingredients in it. I wanted something that had a little bit more of a variation in ingredients. So I went for the All A Blur Primer. This is a blurring primer. I got the All A Blur Primer. There was a blurring pores primer, but again, that mainly had dimethicone and silica in it. So I was like, mm, maybe I'll just go with the general blurring primer. It just seemed like this ingredient list was a little more comprehensive and didn't just have dimethicone in it. So I figured I'd give it a try. This was, I think, $7.99. If you guys have tried out this brand, let me know your thoughts. Like, are they any good? The packaging it looks super cute. I mean, like, they just look, it looks like it's gonna be a good product, but I, I have yet to try anything from this brand. Here is what the bottle looks like of the primer. All of the other primers have very similar packaging, just a different color bottle and it, they're named different things, but this is what this one looks like. I'm curious to see if it has a tint or not, but it does come in a squeeze tube. All right, it comes out looking like this, it's this white kind of consistency. It doesn't smell like anything. It's going on like a little goes a very long way. It does feel like a lotion. Feels kind of like the Fenty Beauty one. If you guys have tried that one. Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer. I'm just gonna apply this all over my skin. If you are new here, I do have oily skin. So I don't know, I was tempted to go with the mattifying one, but I can also do a good blurring primer. It feels very lotion-y on my skin. It almost feels like I applied like a moisturizer. I don't see that my pores are filled in or anything. I suppose I just have to go in with the foundation and see if it looks any different with this primer underneath it. But here's what the skin is looking like after applying this all a blur primer. I also was like looking for a new primer at the drugstore. So if this is good, that's awesome because I love primers that are under $10. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to settle a little bit more into my skin. It did add a nice glow to my skin. Hopefully that doesn't mean that it gets oily. With this primer, you only get 0.94 ounces of product. So typically in a primer, you get one ounce. That doesn't matter a whole lot to me. It's almost a full ounce that you get in here. And there's not really any claims. It's just like blurs, you know? My skin's looking nice, for sure. Like it just, it looks nice and like ready for makeup. After it sinks in a little bit, it does become more soft and not as like greasy feeling like it did when I first applied it. When it felt like a lotion, it feels like it's really sunk into my skin now. I'm gonna take the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Long Wear Foundation and Concealer. I've been loving wearing this. It looks so natural and just so pretty. All right, let's go in with this foundation. Usually this foundation looks pretty smooth on my skin. 
it's making the foundation go on really nicely. So far it doesn't look any different than some of my other blowing primers. Like it does look like my cheek area, my pores are not emphasized. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say that they're like filled in, but it does, looks blurring from what I can tell. Here's my skin with the primer and the foundation on. It looks pretty good. I can't say it's like a huge difference from what it normally looks like. Though I do use blurring and mattifying primers usually, so it looks like I would have used any other of my, my primers underneath. My forehead does look pretty smooth. So that's something. And yeah, it seems to have helped out on my texture down on my chin right here. All right, we're just gonna have to see kind of how it wears. I'm not gonna be doing a 10 hour wear test or anything. Right now it is 426, but I am gonna wear this till the very end of the day. And then in the description box, I'll update you on how I think it wore. And I also want to wear it a few more times before this video goes up to give you a better idea of how it works, not just with this foundation, but also with different foundations and different powders on top of it, just so I can get it like a better idea of really if the primer is good. So I'm gonna take this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. It did look like the brand was pretty developed in terms of how many products that they have. I saw in store that they had mm, like three different eyeshadow palettes, four different face palettes, I think four different highlighters, a lot of different concealer shades, and just the general normal like brow pomade shades so it looked like it was it was a pretty decent range in terms of like not just having one or two products it seems like they really have developed the brand where they have multiple products and multiple different styles of products within the same product does that make sense you know like different primers and you know, different highlights and they just, it seemed like it was well thought out. I'm gonna go ahead and set down my entire face with Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I always use this powder or the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Powder to set down my skin. I'm curious to see if this blurring primer keeps me matte throughout the day. We'll see, it doesn't like claim to. That would be great if it did, you know? The foundation is sitting really nicely on top of it, I will say that. I have a hair that's like right here and I don't want to touch my nose because it's going to rub the foundation off. I'm just bad at it until it goes away. One thing I am noticing is when I normally apply this foundation with a mattifying powder on top like this one, I can get a little bit crepey looking on my nose. It looks dry, but it doesn't look dry right now. It looks exactly the same as the rest of my face. Maybe that's due to the primer. I'm going to speed through doing some of my face makeup until we get to highlight and then the eyeshadow palette that I have to test out. Now to test out the highlight that I have, this is the Makeup Obsession Mega Destiny Highlighter Illuminator. Look at this, look at this, it's like holographic. I, I don't know. I know Tachi didn't like did a whole thing with the holographic nails girl and they like figured out what was hollow and what wasn't and I don't wanna be wrong, but this looks holographic, I don't know. It just has a really cool effect on top of it. This is what the packaging looks like. And I believe that there's a couple different styles of this like there's different shades there was one that was white for like pure white oh this brand is cruelty free and vegan it says on the back of this highlight okay yeah i have the shade mega destiny there is one that's called mega honey that i was really interested in it looks like this so it looked like it would work well on my skin tone. This looks a little dark for me. And then there were a couple cool shades. So there's Mega Karma that is a much darker shade that would fit darker skin tones. And then they had Mega Lightning, which looked like this. I know that's very white on my phone. Hopefully you can see it, but it had like a marbling effect through it. Mega Metal is the next one, it looks very similar to the one that I got. And then there is one more shade called Mega Moon that was like a pink white reflect type of highlight. I didn't want to buy that one because I was like, I don't even know. Normally I don't go for those types of shades. I'm very curious to see what this highlighter swatch is like. It looks baked, kind of. Yeah, this is 
the highlight. So, ooh, it feels, ooh, it feels really but, ooh, ooh, it feels really buttery. That, that could work for my skin tone. Okay, I swatched it really bad, but look at that highlight. That is wet. This was $4.99. This was like almost as cheap as some of the Wet n Wild highlights go, but look at that on my hand. Oh my gosh, that's so wet and metallic. I cannot wait to apply it to my cheeks. So I'm gonna take my regular highlight brush. Mmm, mm-hmm. This can be my summer highlight, okay? I will pick up like some of the other ones when they're in stock. I don't wanna go overboard, but I might have to. It's so pigmented. You don't need very much to build this product up. Look how freaking flawless that looks on my skin. Very pigmented, so pretty. That's probably the most metallic pigmented highlight I've ever tried from the drugstore. I need to stop applying more. This is so pretty. This so far is is amazing. So, so good. I would definitely recommend this highlight. $4.99, how can you be a $5 highlight that looks like that? And the pan is huge. You get 0.26 ounces of product. I don't really know how long that will last you, but the pan is ginormous. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And it's like the perfect shade for me right now. Okay, I'm definitely picking up more of these highlights. So far, this is the standout product for sure. I'm gonna speed through, get to doing my eyebrows, and then we're gonna get to playing with the eyeshadow palette because I'm really excited to test that out as well. So I have the Makeup Be In Love With palette. This is an eyeshadow palette. You get 10 different shades. You get the shades on the back. You don't really get names, but you get like the numbers on the back. This is what the packaging looks like. You open it up. Oh, you do get names, I lied. Okay, get names. Um, and this comes with a mirror and then it also has 10 beautiful shades. I picked the more mauve rose, peachy tone because I really, really wanted to play around with this. They have some other really fun, colorful type palettes that I wasn't as into, but this color theme just totally reached out and basically jumped in my cart. I really like that they have this on it. Like you can't, it helps keep it protected from people swatching it and stuff in the store. Here is a closer look of all of the shades. I, I This shade is calling me for sure. How about we do live swatches? Are you guys into live swatches? Let's do it. I'm not gonna do each shade on my eye because that would completely ruin my makeup and stuff, but I'm going to take this highlighter off of my hand and give it a swatch so you guys can get a better idea of what these look like before we actually apply them to the lid. So I'm gonna go in the first row right here first. So the first shade I'm gonna swatch is Dreamer. It is a metallic pink shade. That's really pretty. It's almost like an iridescent pink that you can apply on top of any shade and just make it look Better. That's very, very pretty. And that would be really good for someone who likes really natural looks. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Beloved, which is a, ooh, very, very soft, like matte brown peach shade. That is what that one looks like. That's very, very soft, you guys. I'm horrible at doing these swatches. That right there is the shade Beloved. That is so pretty, you guys. These matte shades are very soft and very buttery and very pigmented. Next shade over is this shade called Romeo. It's another metallic kind of darker rose shade. That's what it looks like on the finger. Ooh. That's what that one looks like right there. <gasps> Is this a hidden gem at the drugstore, you guys? Look at those shades. Oh my gosh, that is so metallic and pretty. I do use most of my metallic and like shimmer shades with my finger. I find that that's how you get the best pigment with them. So I'm, I'm swatching all of these with my finger. Next shade over is this more peachy matte shade called Treasure. It's that one right there. That is Treasure. 
These are swatching so freaking well. Oh my gosh, I'm very impressed. Lash shade, and this is the one that I'm very, very excited about. This is called a Starry Eyed. It's this one right here. Ooh, 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 this is a different formula. This feels almost like a pressed pigment where it's a little bit crumbly. Let's swatch it on this side of my hand. Definitely needs some type of glitter primer because this is going to have fallout. It's just that crumbly texture. It's very sparkly. It's less metallic than I thought it was going to be. That's the shade right there. This would be so pretty mixed with like these two shades. Oh, maybe I just found my new favorite palette. I don't even know. Let's see what the second row is about. The second row has four matte shades and one metallic shade, whereas the top row had three metallics and two matte shades. Let's hop to the bottom row. This is called a door. Oh, did you know that they have little pieces at the bottom of each eyeshadow where you can lift these up and put them in a Z palette of your own? All right, this is a white shade. Pretty pigmented for a white shade. That's just with one swipe. All right, I assume that could probably be to set your lid. It might be a little light, so maybe use it like on your upper eyebrow or something. I don't know, That's it's nice. It's like not amazing. Next shade over is called Rapport. It's this shade right here. Another matte shade feels the same butteriness as the top ones did. Definitely more mauve -y. This is like, this would be a good lipstick shade. That is the shade Rapport. Next one over, this is called Bond. This is the metallic shade on the bottom. It's that one right there. Doesn't look as pigmented as the other ones. Ooh, okay. This is interesting. It's less pigmented almost than the other ones. It makes me feel like it has a different formula. It's got this like, obviously it's pink, right? It, this shade right here, it's pink, but in the, in the light when you turn it, it almost has this like hot pink reflect in it. So that's a really interesting, really interesting shade. It's almost this like duochrome E. All right, next shade over is called Soulmate. It's this really, really pretty like warm brown shade. Another matte. I gotta say all the matte shades feel very consistent so far. Mm-hmm. This is my kind of shade. That right there is the shade Soulmate. So, so pretty to put in the crease. Last shade in the palette is called Bow. It's this dark brown right here. See how pigmented it is. Oh, it's pretty pigmented, you guys. That's pretty good. That is the last shade in the palette Bow. It's a good outer V type of shade. The only thing it doesn't have is a black, but you know what? This color scheme of this palette is, I'm vibing on it. So really, really like it. I'm excited to actually use them. Everything swatched really good. There wasn't like a dud shade to me. Let's start with a crease brush. I'm gonna start going in with the shade Treasure right here. They do feel powdery. When I dip my brush into it, a lot of powder kicked back. Oh, and I didn't tell you how much this palette was. It's $10. That shade blended out very nicely. I think I'm going to go in with the shade called Soulmate. This one right here. Start blending that into the outer V area and just like deepening up this eye look a little bit. These feel like really, just really solid shadows. The formula is really good. They're pigmented. They're blending out so nicely. I did not expect this, you guys. I did not have very high hopes for this. The packaging is not great. Like it's in this little cardboard box. I wasn't super pleased with it, but it's performing way nicer than the packaging leads people to think it would. <laughs> I think I might start with this shade in the, out, in the inner part of my eye and then put this shade in the outer on my actual lid. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Dreamer on my finger, put this very close to the inner part of my eye. The metallic shades on the top don't have any fallout, like this one, this one, and this one doesn't have fallout. This is the one you have to be careful with and use a glitter glue with. I'm taking the shade Romeo and just kind of blending it onto my lid and into that dreamer shade in the inner corner. I'm gonna take a liner brush like this. This is a Sigma E15 and take that shade bow right here. Smudge that really closely to my lower lash line. 
I would absolutely buy more from this line. I'm eager to buy more now at this point. Like I gotta find out if all of it's good. I'm gonna take the shade, maybe Rapport, the shade right here, smudge it underneath my lower lash line. I think I'm gonna be done with my eyes. I'm really happy how this turned out. This took no time at all. It blended out so nicely. Everything was pigmented, everything blended well. If you're a beginner, this would be a good palette for you just cause it, it blended so nicely with very little work in the crease. These were not patchy at all. I have nothing bad to say about this palette and the price is so, so good. I'm gonna go ahead, put on some lipstick real fast. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Le Macaroon Lipstick in the shade Praline de Paris and I'll be right back. Yeah, this doesn't go with this. Okay, I'm sorry, I know. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so I did add some nude liner to my waterline and I also added some mascara. Here are my thoughts. Everything, everything was good. I don't have any duds. It might be because I didn't get the concealer, but everything was so good. I think the two standouts for me for sure was the highlight and the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna definitely continue to use both of these as well as the primer. The primer is just a little harder to tell. My makeup does look very nice. We're just gonna have to see how it wears. It looks, it looks nice. So I wouldn't say this is bad or anything. I just, it's harder for me to tell as quickly as the highlight or the eyeshadow. So far, I do like it. I'm gonna continue to use every single one of these products that I tested out in this video and definitely gonna get more because this is a good brand at Target. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. I hope you're having a great day. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.